Hey, what's going on guys? My name is George and this is SAS Master. Today we're going to check out Droppler, which is actually two things in one. It's a image recorder, a video recorder, well wait, it's three things, and also a cloud storage. So you get three things. Okay, so right now Droppler is on a lifetime deal that you can get for $39 one-time payment. And if you guys are interested and you find this video helpful, the link is going to be in the description. So okay guys, this is the main deal right here. It's $39 for Droppler. And what you're going to get with those $39 is these main things. So you get lifetime access, you get notifications, self-destruct, password protect, capture screenshots, screencasts, boards, received a file from a client up to 10 gigabytes, which is a lot. And one of the things you're going to get is, up to, if you buy one code, up to 10 users, so you can have your friends or your colleagues or your team, whatever, you can add them up to five terabytes of storage. So that's your cloud storage, which I said, I mean, it's actually a lot for $39. And if you go two codes, you get 10 terabytes and it just goes up and up. When it does change is when you buy three codes because you get the team only viewing. So that's what you get difference once you get more codes. So, okay guys, wanna show you really quick here on their site what, the, what you can get. So there's a desktop app, app for Mac. There's a Chrome extension and there's an iOS app. So those are the apps you can you can check out. Okay guys, so if you get the Chrome extension, which I already have, it's this one right here, you have this interface. So if, for example, if I want to take a screenshot or if I want to record a video, I can do that. Let's actually do it. So let's do it at my site. Okay, sassum.co. And for example, if I wanted to take a screenshot of this, like, you know what, something I don't like, let's just say I'm a web developer and I want to show something to my client. So I'll go here and I'll do a screenshot. Do I want to do a selected area, application window, full screen, or entire page? So it will automatically scroll and do the whole page, which we're gonna test right now. First, let's do this selected area. So let's just say this is where I want to focus on. Let's wait for it. And it's uploading. So it's actually uploading the screenshot to my Droppler account. There you go, it's added. So right here, we get information. If we want to draw, do we want to download it? Do we want to copy it? So for example, if we want to draw on it, we would just do this, hold on. And let's just say the narrow, you know what? You need to remove this, it will square. Select the rectangle. So that you would say to a client, hey, remove this. You can do, text so remove example and you would save it super easy to do screen save there's a link now something you're gonna see really cool is that I can actually add my own custom link my own custom domain so this is my custom domain which I'm gonna show you right now where you're gonna do that and okay there you go I got my link and I got all that and I can see how many people viewed this link it could be the image or a video or whatever it's going to show me how many views do i want a expiration date so if i want to say you know what you only have five days to watch this and you remove it pretty helpful to to have is it private or not i mean if it's not you can just share anyone and that person can share it to another one it just be open unless you want to make it private so you can add your own tags for later so if you can search on it if you want to do that and okay let's head on over to settings because i want to show you where you can customize your own domain which I already did. It's over here in team, right here, which is my my custom domain is this one. What you gotta do is head on over to your to your hosting account where you purchase your domain. You don't have to have hosting to actually do this, or you can create a, a subdomain like I did. So I got my main domain and I added a subdomain, which is files. And all I did was added this short link, configure your custom domain. So I put in my C name to this way here so it's custom.droppler.com once you do that you add your custom domain you add your main domain where you want them to redirect so if they type wrong the the earl or something they will head on over to your main domain added my custom image and i can add light or dark theme so if you like dark themes this would be cool so that's updated and you can see my files right here so if i check out the file that remember we draw right now so let's copy that link Let's head on over, but incognito tab. Let's head on over there. And you can see my logo is right here. So I was just aware of this. I changed it to dark theme. So my logo has a black uh, letter. So I'm going to change that to white if I'm going to use a dark theme. 
So this is how your client would see it. You see your own domain files with the link shorten. You can see it right there. So it looks more professional. You're not using like an external link shortener or, or something like that. You use your own to, so they can actually view your files, files. So it makes you more professional. There you go, recently viewed. You can download it, you can draw, you can try Dropler. Now, I don't like this right here. It should be removed, that, from my opinion, because you wanna look more pro and not look like you're using their, their software. Okay, guys, so one of the other things we can do, we can actually record a video. So we can upload to Dropler if you want, or just record it to our desktop. So that depends on you. Is it a one, if you wanna record full desktop or current tap, I don't want to hit this right now because it might interfere with the actual recording I'm actually doing because of the camera, but it's smooth. Works like it should. Now, something that's really cool, if you guys are Mac users, you get your own app. You can download it and you can actually do uh, chips. So I have it installed right here. It's a little drop right there. I'm going to click on it and we get these options. Do we want to upload a file, a screenshot, a screenshot with annotation? screen recording something that's going to be cool and some guys are not going to get it because you don't use mac is the gif we can actually record a gif so a short gif can be recorded by the screen or whatever you're, you're showing right now and it's that easy now there's some plugins that you can have right here there's more i mean if you want to do markdown notes code snippets shorten link upload clipboards and these are my recent files so pretty cool to have this app installed if you guys have Mac so it's pretty cool and these are the interface you can upload files like you would in any cloud storage if you want so you got five terabytes when you buy one code so I mean there's there's not much to think about it's it's a great app it does what it should you get like the screen recording the screen capture you get the cloud storage and you get all that for $39 so if you guys are interested in buying this it's, it's a no-brainer I mean if you ask me if, if you should buy this you should no brainer. Okay guys, my name is George. Remember the link is going to be in the description. This is SASMaster.